Welcome, welcome, welcome to Original Lady E Elements Tarot LLC. Do you know I'm laughing? <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, yum. I swear to God, I pressed play. And I was doing a full <laughs> a full fledged fucking reading. Okay, this channel is 18 and above. If you are under 18, click or fuck. If I get you. Um, well, I'll notify your parents in some way, shape, or form. Okay, we're doing an update on Chris Brown and his twin flame. This twin flame, he has yet to meet. He hasn't met this person yet. I do see this person moving across the water. So this person could be relocating or moving towards the city of where he lives at. I'm saying this because it's in front of my face with this honeymoon. This boat, right, is traveling, right? So we have a traveler. With people in the boat and with children here. This person is traveling with children, relocating with their children. This is a single parent. This person is also waiting on their their divine twin flame. They done went through the ringer, and so has Chris Brown went through the ringer. When these two get together, when Chris Brown gets together with his real twin flame because you have fake ones and you have real ones, alright? <clears throat> you have fake karmics, fake soulmates, fake twin flames. They're fake pretending to be the real one. They're trying to take the spot, but I'm going to tell you right now, this ain't musical chairs, bitch, okay? I don't care if you have a baby, okay? Well, I do care. It doesn't matter because you, you have to co-parent. But I'm saying as far as relationship-wise, I don't care if you have a child or whatnot. If God is putting two people together... He's going to break the divine counterpart up with the, the karmic counterpart that they with to bring this into fruition. And this is what I see happening with Chris Brown. With the honeymoon and worth waiting for. This person is coming. Some people can wait on the right person, but that per the some people can wait on the right individual to come. But at the same time they're waiting, they can also go out and date other people if you get my drift or if you're on the same page as I am. But person coming into play has children. They're not kids by him either. They have this these are outside children. He will be a stepdaddy. Okay. This is someone he never met. He'll never leave this person with the separation in the reverse. They will try to work out their differences. They're both kooky in their own way. Tauruses on their own part think everybody is fucking crazy. I know y'all. Y'all think everybody is fucking crazy, don't y'all? Mm-hmm. Um, this person will love him through his thick and his thin. He ain't got to worry about this person calling the cops on him or him getting arrested and that bullshit. This person is going to be the type to want to sit down and discuss things adult to adult, grown up to grown up type energy is flowing here with this individual. Okay. This person traveled. Oh, I didn't even see that. This person traveled during the full moon. So the last full moon we had was when this person moved towards his city. Divine timing is at working in his love life right now. His love life is being affected by children. So I do see this person does love his children. He will never be apart from him. Like from his children, he will never be apart. This person, they just like these, these two will make the perfect parents. Literally. Literally. Because both of them put their children first. Okay. This person coming into play is celibate. They don't play around. They just handle their business, handle their children. They mind their business. They stay to themselves. They, um, but this is the type of person, though, if they have issues, they won't really speak up about it. Like, they feel they can handle it on their own. So this person is very, whatever it is, feminine energy is this very mature feminine energy is they can handle their own business. They don't complain about shit. This is the type of person that if they do have children by Chris Brown, they will not put him on child support. They would completely trust him for handling the children if they decide they want to have children with this person. 
we have forgiving and learning here okay this person has let go of past situations people and things that have hurt them and this is why they moved on as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment okay he needs and as far as he is concerned as chris brown is concerned releasing and healing the past if he has already done it this is why this person is coming in okay he'll never leave this person again there's separation in the reverse here again like i said these two will be the type to sit down and discuss anything going wrong any problems going on in a relationship as a mature adult should why am I hearing spirit say that shit? Hold on a second. Yeah, I see him giving this a chance because upon first meeting, he may not even be interested in this individual. But the Holy Spirit is saying that Chris Brown needs to give this a chance because this is going to be someone that's pretty. It's hard to explain. This is somewhat out of his range. What he typically looks for in a person, this is going to be quite the opposite. So he needs to work on that. Okay? You need to accept the fact that you ain't always going to get what you get from the universe. All right? But you're going to get the right person. This person love, will love the way he holds her he's taller than her not that tall if he's six feet six feet one this person five four five seven okay no taller than five foot eight this person may be five foot seven because she can reach him standing on heels but i'm telling you right now give me a second oh hold on let me put it over there They're going to be going out a lot. I'm here in Disney World, Disney Place with the children, having fun. This is so cute. This is very cute. I love it. Definitely worth waiting for. There's going to be a lot of jealous bitches. <laughs> and he's... I see Chris Brown, Chris Brown being very overprotective of this female here. This female is the type that when she gets around his friends, she won't mess with any of his friends. If his friends come at her a certain way, she'll be the type to let Chris know right away. Like, let him know, yo, your friend over there trying to kick it with me. Like, that's so disrespectful. She ain't going to want him to fight him. She just want to update him if someone out the crew decides that they want to try to sneak kick it to her. She's not having it. She will only be like this with Chris. Because they will be best friends. Because with this honeymoon card here, there will be a lot of conversations when they go out getting to know each other there is a bond here it's unbreakable something's saying Bring these again chris brown and his new twin flame Ooh. she'll be able to help him see through the lies that other people may have him blinded to them doing with this triumph over lies she wears the crown triumph over lies letting people she she'll be she'll be bringing clarity to this motherfucker like do you see this this person is the type they peep game. And they'll put you on like, yo, don't trust that person because such and such. See what they're doing? See how they're moving? This is the type of female that if your actions don't line up with your words, she cut you quick. She cut you off. There will be no family issues at all. Everything will be, I just heard, copacetic. She won't be feeling caged. She'll have the freedom to do whatever she wants. he still be overprotective of her. Even watch over her. And she may even also be overprotective of him and watch over him. But they both will have the freedom that they need in this relationship. Right? 
I'm not gonna pull that card. I'm gonna just tell you, somebody is gonna be hurt in the background. <laughs> somebody is gonna be hurt because the card that wanted to come out was "I won't cry for you." That's an ex of his. I'm just saying. Look at this. This could be the one. No, baby. No, Chris. This is the one. This is your real twin flame. They won't make you feel caged. You won't make them feel caged. Tell me more about this twin flame. If I break out the black cards. We at we 10 minutes in. Ooh, yeah. He needs to keep an open mind about this relationship and stay optimistic. Because this person is completely different from what he expects. Completely different. He needs to definitely make the effort here. Spirit is asking him to make the effort in this and keep an open mind. Because this person is going to be completely different. But once they... i tell you what. He needs to get to know this individual before he makes judgment on this person. Because you never know what you got. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you get when you open it. Just because all of the chocolates are not made out of caramel. And you got that one little nougat over there. The Charleston Chew. You know, a lot of people don't pick that in the chocolate box, right? Or maybe the coconut one. You may want to eat that Charleston Chew or that coconut. Okay? You may want to take it. It's a different flavor. Give it a chance and make the effort with this feminine energy coming in. He needs to stay optimistic and keep an open mind about this feminine energy coming in and make the effort. Because this person will make the effort to get to know him through all his kookiness. This is the type of person that, yes, they see things online maybe bad about Chris Brown. But they're not going to judge Chris Brown based on media. They're going to judge Chris Brown based on meeting and getting to know the actual Chris Brown. Maurice. Okay. Uh, let me put some cards from the wellness deck real quick. Definitely this person will help him to see through all of life. If there's anyone around him lying, this would be the person to let him know. Like, yo, heads up. Heads up. I think someone's stealing from your company. Heads up. I think this person's a liar. Heads up. Because you can't fool this person. This person is, is a very transparent person. Oh my God, I just heard that stupid song. I mean, it's not stupid. <laughs> Came out wrong. My bad. Transparency when you look at me. A lot of people he ran into was not transparent. They were faking the funk. They're supposed to be clear, right? Like this bottle of water. Transparency when you look at me. They're pretending. See, they have masks on. Pretending to be transparent. They were like this damn coffee and this. They weren't transparent at all. That's all I'm going to say. But this person here is going to be clear as day. Transparent. Okay. Definitely, I see a lot of dating, getting to know each other. This person feels like this person is worth waiting for. I see both of them waiting for each other, but they don't even know they're waiting for each other. Or maybe they do, I don't know. This person has children, but Chris doesn't see that, and they don't see that in Chris and his children. They'll both learn to accept each other's children, love each other's children. Won't be no problem. I don't see no breakup in this situation. No one can do any type of magic or spell work to break this connection because it's brought in by God. Okay, they're both releasing their exes in the past, healing from staying optimistic about their love life. But definitely Christopher needs to give it a chance when he meets this individual. Because this is not going to be no damn Instagram model and this ain't no damn supermodel. It's not, this person is not a model. This person is a mama. It's a regular mama. A real person. Okay, not someone, you know. <sighs> Let's see. What can you tell me about this new twin flame? Chris Brown has yet to meet. What do you got to say, spirit? Ooh, in the past, there could have been someone sabotaging his connections behind the scene. We got a girl with a snake, empath, narcissist. So someone empathic was around him, right? 
charming him or using him. Baby mama vibes is what I'm getting from this. And I see him putting up his walls and putting up his boundaries against this baby mama. Whichever one it may be. This person is highly intuitive. Very empathic. Very empathic. Could have named the album after this. I think he named the album after this one. Indigo? Or it could be the other one. I don't know. Yeah, because him and this other person here was reflecting both their wounds. Mirror reverse. They were bad for each other. This person is very cunning and conniving. Tell me about the new connection coming in. Fuck that one. This is a healthy choice for him. This connection is very healthy. Making healthy choices and loving in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. This, this person. This person practices self-love and self-care and self-confidence. They are completely confident in themselves. This is a single mother who loves herself, who is celibate. Definitely got out of a situation with a karmic that this person was with. So both of them are deading a situation that they're getting out of. But this person that he's going to run into practices self-love and self-care. I'm hearing on a daily basis. One second. Yes. This person practices self-love, self-care. They just got out of a situation with this coffin here, but there's a new beginning coming. So I see both situations, both on Chris Brown's side and his new twin flame side. There's a situation that came to an end, but there's also new beginnings coming for both of them when they get together anything else about his new twin flame I'm about to get some other cards. yeah 1701 on the clock chris brown and his new twin flame holy spirit what you got she says you'll never prank me <laughs> these are gonna be the type that they will hold healthy competitions in the house. You know what I'm saying? Like, who's the best cook? Um, who can bring in the most presents? Um, silly, silly things. Silly things. Like, look. This person coming in will be will heal Chris Brown's heart. And vice versa. Okay, we have healing heart. I don't know if y'all can see that. Did I put it up too close? You can't see that shit. Okay, 1742 on the clock. We have healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. Yeah. Whatever both of them were dealing with. And I sense it's both of them. Right? They were dealing with toxic individuals who were basically karmic. Alright? Whatever those addictions could be. Could have been codependency. Could have been drugs. Could have been alcohol. Could have been smoking cigarettes too much. Depending on the other person too much. Um, but there's definitely a healing coming in. Finally deciding. That's what I'm hearing right now. Finally deciding. This is on Chris Parts. Finally deciding to heal from heartbreak. Finally deciding to free himself from a toxic relationship and addictions. I just heard that one. Chris Brown again into a flame. What's going on with you, Chris? <gasps> the fuck? This is soulmate coming in. These two can't be broken. This is a brand new soulmate contract. No, he never met this person. This person is not a model. Not what his friends want him to hang out with. See, his friends around him want him to hang out with models and shit. Fuck everybody and get everybody pregnant and populate the world. Um, no. I see God putting a stop to that. You know why that was going on? Because he knew or somehow he felt in his heart. Whoever he was around was not the right person. He knew it. He felt it. He probably even had some dreams. They're not the right persons. The people with the babies and the people without the babies that he was just doing. Anyway, there's a soulmate coming in. Soulmate connection, right? Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. They made an agreement in the ethers to be together. These two were together in Egypt. 
the person coming towards him, this person mentally, spiritually feels he's the one. He, on the other hand, doesn't feel it yet. He will get a sense and see this. Well, he may know it. Hopefully, he don't run from the connection because I don't think the Almighty will be happy with this. <laughs> If he runs from this connection. Because this is an actual good connection. This is the connection he's been looking for. This is the connection he's been.